four, five hours in through the woods, through the mountains, hiking. Do you know what? In the last 10 days, I think I've probably felt under attack more than I ever have in my life. I've been through a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure this week, looking at what they're doing, looking at them deceiving the public, lying to the public, making false accusations that have put a target on not just me, but my family, death threats, threat of prison, talk of terrorism, talk of extradition, government against you, media against you. And do you know, years ago, even a year ago maybe, yeah, I might have ended up burying my head and drinking alcohol and trying to escape the reality I'm in. Not anymore, okay? And there's no better feeling, no better remedy or medicine to the pressures that you face in your life than being in nature and getting in the gym. And that's what I do every day now to deal with it. And I feel ready, strong, physically strong, mentally strong, better than I've ever been, okay? And that doesn't mean I don't have dark thoughts and dark clouds and worries and fears. It's how you deal with those fears. And I used to deal with them by burying my head and maybe hitting alcohol and going on a bender or a session. And that doesn't solve fuck all. Just hide it for 12 hours, 24 hours, sometimes 72 hours. <laughs> so not anymore. The best answer to any problem you have is the outdoors, nature, walking, hiking. You can start anywhere. I go in the gym. I push myself to the highest intensity. I'm an all or nothing kind of man. Yeah. So when I'm good, I'm good. And when I was bad, I was bad. But I'm good at the minute. So I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to face whatever you're ready to throw at me. Um, I have a court date, 28th of October. What I'd say is a certain prison sentence. Or showing you the truth. Guilty of what? Journalism? Guilty of being a real journalist? Guilty of investigating and reporting the truth to the British public and not being able to be intimidated in silence? And guilty of not backing down. So... To every one of you who shows me love, I see you in the street. Um, it, it gives me drive. It gives me passion. It helps me. Um, the love you show, especially when I'm with my children, that's what, when they witness that. I've had a terrible week with my children in the sense of I had two weeks booked in. I don't get to live with them anymore if, if you've watched the film due to what they've done. Um, so I had two weeks in with them and I got three days until the enemy, which is the main... The mainstream media are the cancer. And citizen journalism is the cure, and they hate it. Yeah? They hate the fact that we can show a narrative, we can challenge their narrative, and we can show you the other side of the story they're not telling you. And they want to silence that and take that. And they've had a machine against me. I've, I've faced this machine for well over a decade, okay? And I've had to sit there when I've been censored and watch it. I've had to watch the lies. I've had to see politicians lie. I've had to watch his journalists just tell blatant lies. Like, here, you've seen him sit and say that I've, ins I've t uh, instructed my followers to target mosques. Muslims, as you know, have been ranting about you for the last few days and utterly betraying them because you've decided to associate yourself with Tommy Robinson, who is a far-right thug, who has been spewing utter, horrible, Islamophobic, anti-Muslim rhetoric all week. And yet you have not distanced yourself from him. So the Muslim community in the UK now view you as part of the enemy too. You know that. How do you feel about that? That results in Somalians making threat, death threats to murder me. It results in threats to murder my family. It's not journalism. That's not journalism. Exactly what he done to Bailey in my documentary, Silence, is exactly what he's done to me this week. Hasn't learned from his mistakes. And that's why, Piers, no one trusts you. And they trust me. And that's why to the establishment, if you send me to jail, I'm coming out of jail, hopefully. Yeah? If I don't, you might spark a revolution. But I'm coming out of jail anyway. Yeah? When I do come out of jail, I'll have more trust, more respect by the public than anyone. My, list, my word will be listened to because I'm willing to sacrifice for it. I'm willing to sacrifice for freedom of my children. You're not taking my children's freedom of speech away, not without one almighty fucking fight. All right? And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to take all of your freedoms. They're trying to censor everything. They want to control how you think, tell you how to think about certain individuals. Anyway, as I'm in this mountain, totally lost, I'll um, tell you one word of advice. Get up, go for a walk, get in that gym. Whatever problems you face, marital, financial, they will all be easier to face if you are physically fit. It's, just a, it's a fact, and it took me years to realise that. And I wish and think of what I could have achieved if I had the mindset I've got now. In fact, look what we've achieved in six months. We've gone from through the roof. Thanks to Elon Musk, built a cult movement ready 
inspired many. And uh, we're ready. So thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your messages. I'm sorry I can't message every single person back. I do appreciate every single bit of it. You give me the ability to carry on fighting. And fight on, we will.